Welcome to our Coding Corner. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from one of our viewers. They want to know if it's possible to make a grid item span from the first to the last row in an implicit grid, especially when the number of rows is unknown. Let's dive into this grid mystery and uncover how we can achieve this with CSS. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. To make a grid item span from the first to the last row in an implicit grid, we can utilize CSS grid properties effectively. Let's start by examining our HTML structure. In our CSS, we define the container as a grid with three columns and an implicit number of rows. The key here is to use the grid row property to specify the span. Now to make the third box span from the first grid line to the last, we will set the grid row property for that specific box. Let's see how it's done. This configuration allows the third box to stretch vertically across all available rows, regardless of how many rows there are. It effectively adapts to the grid's implicit nature. In summary, by using the grid row property with the value 1, our last line, we can ensure that our grid item spans from the first to the last row dynamically. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If you can't make a grid item span to the last row or column, consider nesting your grid structure. You can use JavaScript to move the third box next to your original grid container. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. In 2022, a user pointed out that while they mentioned using an implicit grid, their code actually defined an explicit grid with grid template columns and grid template rows. To make a grid item span all rows or columns, you can use grid row end set to negative one. This simplifies the process compared to previous examples. Here's a practical example. The grid is set up with a height and width of 200 pixels, and it contains five items. The fourth item is styled to span all rows, making it visually distinct. And that's it, guys. I hope those questions and answers really helped solve that solution for you. If it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until you need next technical video, I'll be here. Have a good one.